Hello, my name is Pastor Larry Gates. I'm the visiting pastor here at Christ. Today we're going to be looking at what it really means to get involved. And our, our text is recorded in Exodus chapter 17. I'm just going to read the last verse of this story. Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. He said, For hands were lifted up to the throne of the Lord. The Lord will be at, Lord, the, the Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. Dear friends in Christ, where do you personally fit into the spiritual war that is being fought against the devil, the world, and my own sinful nature? I love this question because we see the war going on all around us. We see the battles being fought, but Satan is going to do everything he can to discourage us by saying, you know, maybe you don't have the the qualifications to get involved and maybe you leave that work up to other people. The point is that God says, no, we all need to work together because when we do, he doesn't stand a chance. Now, the story before us brings to mind what this really means for all of us to get involved. Israel is wandering in the desert on their way to the promised land. The Amalekites stand against them. And all of a sudden, now they wanted to go to battle. The nation of Israel really didn't have an organized army yet. So... Moses said to Joshua, go pick a few people out of the crowd and and they become your army and send them to battle against the Amalekites. But when he did this, God said to Moses, as long as you hold up your hands, you will win. So Moses went up on a high hill and held up his hands. And as long as those hands were up, the nation of Israel won. And as soon as he got tired and started to lower his hands, the nation of Israel would lose. So now what do you do? Because the, the, the prophet has to keep his hands up there. So they instructed Moses, no, you sit on this rock. And so Joshua and Aaron stood right next to him, holding his hands up. And of course, the story is easily seen because as long as he was up there, the, the nation of Israel won that war. The closing words remind us that this is a great time of thankfulness because God found these people to help Moses so that Moses could help win the war. Now, where do you get involved? Because maybe you are the ones chosen by the pastors, the the prophets, so to speak, to go into battle, equipped with the word of God. These are the people equipped with God's power. And at the the invite of the pastors, they go out and fight that battle, um, led by the pastors themselves. And that's why, again, we say, well, yes, that's a wonderful thing, but not everybody can do this. No, but God says everyone needs to get involved. Maybe you're going to do something so mundane as hold the pastor's hands up. Because, you see, I don't care how many pastors you have, Satan is going to do everything he can to discourage them. He's going to try to stop them. So God says that God's people need to give that encouragement to just be so simple as holding up the prophet's hands. But my friends, when you look at a church of this size and all the work that needs to get involved, all the people that need to be involved, it's amazing to see that everyone needs to work together. Maybe it is just office work. Maybe it is to to help the children and give them encouragement and help to train them. Maybe it is to be involved with the service in some way, with the music or the ushering. Maybe it is to help and encourage other people. But it's really amazing that when we all, we'll all work together, <laughs> this church moves forward. But what happens if everybody stands on the sideline and says, there's nothing I can do? My friends, then somebody has to do that work. And you know what? Pretty soon they all get exhausted. Because you see, if you leave all the work up to your pastors, they will get exhausted because they don't have enough time to get it all done. God says, no, get involved. Find a way. Because you see, as long as you are working for God, we know the outcome. As long as we are equipped with the power of God, we cannot lose this battle. And when we do so, it's amazing to see how not only this war against Satan is won, but all these people are rescued from his clutches. All of these people get to hear the gospel message and and find this love of God. And pretty soon the The kingdom of God grows one at a time as all of these people are equipped and trained and converted by God himself. So that's why, my friends, this is a wonderful story. 
Because yes, the battle was big and long, but when God's people all worked together, they won the battle quite easily. So my friends, may you be one of those who are involved. And maybe it is going to be something that seems so mundane as holding up the prophet's hands. But my friends, when we do this, the battle is easily won by God through us. And your pastors are the ones who are going to be saved. Because you see, then they are going to be the ones doing or equipping all of us for that work. So may we work together with your pastors. May we help them in so many different ways so that this battle can continue to be won and souls can be saved. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we pray? O Lord God, Heavenly Father, we recognize that Satan is going to do everything he can to discourage us from getting involved in the work of the church. But my friends, help us. God, be a part of us. Move our hearts and minds so that everyone can get involved. Because when we do so, we know what the outcome will be. That you will continue to win this war. You will continue to win every battle. And everyone working together will expand your kingdom in so many different ways so that all may know you as their Savior and one day celebrate together in heaven. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen.